Jesus was on his way to visit Jerusalem in order to celebrate the Passover festival. This is the most important holiday for Jewish people. He sent two of his friends he called disciples to a village nearby. Jesus told them that they would find a donkey there and take it with them. They did so. When people asked them why they are stealing the donkey they answered, Jesus needs it. As he had also told them. Jesus mounted on the donkey and was riding towards the gates of Jerusalem that way. There were many people welcoming him with joy. They put blankets in front of him and picked branches from trees to wave at him. It was a celebration just as one for a king entering the town and everyone was singing, cheer for the king that God has sent us. One day Jesus went to the temple. The temple is a building just like a big church. Inside the temple there was a lot of booths for selling animals and exchanging money. When Jesus saw what was going on there he became angry. He went up to the booths, threw them over and released the animals. <laughs> This place should be a place for prayer and seeking God. You turned it into a fair. The leaders of the temple did not like what Jesus had done because they profited from the shops. After that they made plans to get rid of Jesus. One day, Jesus walked by a fig tree. He was hungry, but could not find any figs on the tree. Devastated, he said to the tree, Never again will you bear fruit. Immediately, the whole tree withered. Jesus' friends, the disciples, were confused. How is it possible that this tree withered so fast? Jesus encouraged them. If you trust in me, you can do the same. If you tell a mountain to move into the sea, it will listen to you and do it. I will give you everything that you faithfully ask me in prayer. Jesus was teaching in the temple when the chief priests and elders questioned his authority. He responded by asking them about John the Baptist's authority, whether it was from heaven or human. Unable to answer without risking their position with the people, they replied they didn't know. Consequently, Jesus refused to reveal his authority. This is Stan. Stan has two sons, Peter and Klaus. One day Stan asks Peter, to pick the potatoes in the garden. Peter does not want to do it because he would rather go and play soccer. So Stan asks Klaus, who quickly says yes. When Peter is on his way to the soccer match, he begins to feel sorry for not wanting to help his father. He then returns home to help in the garden. But when he arrives in the garden, he discovers that nothing has happened. Klaus did not pick up the potatoes as he had promised, so Peter picks them on his own. Jesus told this story because some of his followers had previously been criminals. On the other hand, many respectable people did not want to hear his message or follow him. To these people, Jesus wanted to make it clear that it is not only important what you say, but also what you do. If you say you will follow God, follow him. This is Leonard. Leonard is very rich and owns a vineyard. Leonard wants to go abroad for a while and rents his vineyard to Mike, Sam, and Jim. That means that Mike, Sam, and Jim can use Leonard's vineyard, harvest its crops, and sell them, and only have to pay a small amount of rent to Leonard. So, Leonard flies to another country and leaves his vineyard with the three men. After Mike, Sam, and Jim have taken care of the vineyard for a while, someone is sent by Leonard to come and pick up the rent. But, Mike, Sam, and Jim do not want to pay the rent. Instead, they beat up the messenger and send him away. When Leonard hears this, he sends the messenger back. This time Mike, Sam, and Jim beat him up so badly that he dies. Then a second messenger is sent by Leonard to pick up the rent. This messenger is also beaten up and killed by Mike, Sam, and Jim. Leonard begins to think, what can I do with these people? Then he has an idea. 
I will send my own son to them. I'm sure they will listen to him. When Mike, Sam, and Jim see the arrival of Leonard's son, they get excited. This is the only son. If we kill him, the vineyard will be all ours. Not hesitating, they kill Leonard's son. Then Jesus asked his listeners, What do you think Leonard will do with Mike and Sam and Jim? For sure he will punish them and take away the vineyard from them and give it to someone else. Jesus told this story to point to his coming death and to show that through him, everyone will be able to come to God, not only the Jewish people.